Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hi, I'm Rick. Welcome to Cut the Tape. Uh, the basement is perpetually under construction, so I'm not in front of my usual spot. Uh, today I'm in the north uh, corridor, uh, so you get to look at some Beast Wars figures behind me. And uh, Cybertron. I typically don't open new stuff on this show, but I have read that people are having a hard time finding certain things, the War for Cybertron Netflix series stuff available at Walmart, and I thought, you know what, Stoja Vrog, let's open it. We got two items today, we got Megatron, and then we got the mystery box. So if you don't want, if you don't want to know what's in the mystery box, I don't know. I can't deal with that right now. All right, so I have two different Megatrons that I purchased at two different stores. Now, usually I like to purchase one to open, one to keep sealed, and I like to purchase them from different stores, and I like to purchase them at different times, and the reason being is because sometimes the first assortments may have a slight change uh, as opposed to the second assortment. So, uh, because they're hard to find, I just said, all right, you know what, let me just get them. So, uh, I have two. Uh, I'm going to compare them to see if there's anything different about them. Uh, usually what I'm looking for are uh, a copyright information or twist ties. Sometimes the twist ties, they'll notice at the first assortment, hey, a figure keeps coming loose. We need to put an extra twist tie in there. I'm also looking for packaging to see which is the better of the packaging. So these bought uh these are the same assortment you can tell by the numbers on the back this looks like it's the better box yeah this is the better box so we'll keep this one we'll put that one over there let's go ahead and open this now one thing remember never cut towards yourself always cut towards your enemy one thing about the Netflix series, the figures, is that uh, they have background pieces to assemble Teletran 1, which is very cool. I think that's a, that's a great use of packaging. So let's take out, let's see what we have. I think that's pretty cool that we'll get a close-up shot here. It actually looks like it's spray painted, like it's graffitied on there. Uh, will that play into the show, or is that just an artistic choice? Uh, I don't know. And look! Alright, so I'm either missing one. It may just be the deluxes. Alright. So this is the first mega, I don't know, leader class figure I've opened. And there's no piece to assemble a Teletran one. And I don't have the, uh, the deluxes that I've opened already here to show you. But you get instructions. You get background. See, this could have been made into something else. If you just take Hotlink and Megatron, which are the two uh, leader ultra, what, whatever class they're called this week, you could have had, you could have made like the inside of the Nemesis. We have our instructions booklet. It comes with two Autobots. It comes with Autobot Captive Lionizer. So I guess he's being held hostage by Megatron. And Autobot Captive Pinpointer. Target Masters, War Masters, whatever you want to call them this week. To me, they're always going to be Target Masters. All right, so we, here we have... Megatron has uh, extra battle damage. Uh, these two are exclusive to this pack. 
Uh, there's no additional tooling, no extra weapons. Uh, all three guys are with all the features and weapons they came with before. In fact, there's no twist ties on these. Pinpointer. Lionizer. In fact, are there any twist ties on Megatron? I don't think there are. This is going to be loud. Megatron comes right out of the package, so for anyone who's looking to steal, there you go. And uh, I just want to say, shout out to all the shitty people out there who buy a figure, replace it with a different figure, and then return it to the unknowing employees at generic retail store. That is, that's theft, that's disgusting. You're hurting a person who, you're, you're not just hurting the company that makes Transformers. But let's say that goes back on the shelf. Unknowing parent, unknowing grandma buys it, gives it to their kid, and instead of Megatron, there's a Revenge of the Fallen Thundercracker in here. It's missing parts. I mean, how shitty is that to hurt a kid? Don't do that. Don't do that stuff. Now, I tend to think these Netflix figures in general are unnecessary repaints, but I understand they want figures, Hasbro wants figures that relate directly to the show. The show went into development while these figures were coming out. That was some time ago, so now they're reissuing them, which is, I understand. I understand. They want him to look like the show, so it's not like we can put this guy in safety blue and orange, right? So add more battle damage to it. Okay. I, I get that. Sure. I wonder if Pinpointer will be in the show. I'm really hoping for Pinpointer to be in the show. But that's Megatron. All right. This is the more interesting thing I want to talk about. This is the... Uh, Spoiler box. Uh, it's uh, Netflix, uh, based off the Netflix show. It's a Walmart exclusive. I had to order this one online. So, I'm going to try and find another one. But this box came to me, mailed from Walmart. Of course, it's banged up. It's beat up. It was just thrown into a bigger box. No cushion, no padding, nothing. And it's all dinged up. In fact, it was cut open already, so, and I hear something rattling inside. I wouldn't be surprised if someone at the warehouse maybe opened this, took something out, replaced it. Who knows? But uh, it's supposed to be a spoiler inside as to the contents. It doesn't give you anything on the outside as to who's in here, at least not in English. You can pretty much assume that it's an Autobot of the Autobot logo. I do like the box. I do like the box because it kind of opens like an ammo box. Now there is a piece of tape here to keep it shut, but mine came cut open. And stuff like that where the inside has printing on it, I appreciate little things like that. So now look. See, this has been taped. This doesn't look like factory tape to me. I wonder if there was a figure in here or if there's a figure underneath this. I purposely don't look at reviews of things that I review. So I'm wondering if there was a figure here and somebody stole it and taped it back up or if it's underneath that black uh, material there. Oh, look at that. This opens up too. So this is all attached to the box and we can actually take this out. Oh, it's taped. Okay, we can't. I know the show's cut the tape, but I don't necessarily want to cut this tape. 
You know what? This box is dinged up anyway. I'm really worried there's nothing in here. Like, I seriously am worried somebody stole whatever was inside here. There's nothing shaking. It's got a little bit of weight to it. But, I mean, it looks like there was, like, melted plastic put inside here. Feels like, this feels like there's a, like a Drake's coffee cake. And you left it out a little too long. Gotta love the Drake. Um, it's Play-Doh, though. Oh, it's Play-Doh. It is Play-Doh. I was thinking it feels like Play-Doh. It's actually Play-Doh. So there's black Play-Doh in here. And is there something inside? There is something inside. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. All right. So we have some Play-Doh. We have some black Play-Doh. Why is it black? I don't know. But that's cool. We got some black Play-Doh. And that is going to dry out. I may have to tape that up again. And inside, you have a bag of Energon cubes. So I think these are the, these look like the same Energon cubes that came with the reissue Insecticons. So the reissue Insecticons in the U.S., they were Toys R Us exclusive. I think that was the first time we ever got official Energon cubes with Transformers in the U.S. I think this is the second time. That's cool. So we have some Energon cubes. Nice. We have three of them. That's cool. I approve. Got a bunch of black Play-Doh. I don't know why. Now the rumors are, we you know, we kind of heard what the rumors are, that inside the box, spoiler warning, it's Ultra Magnus. Sure enough, it's Ultra Magnus. Here it is. Pictures are on the internet. And it comes with a clear rung. I guess rung was hard to get for some people. In my area, rung was plentiful. But in my area, other figures aren't plentiful. All right, so the box has not become anything. Although, I bet you if I give this to Casey, she turns this into like a Transformers jail cell. Because you can just put bars here and put the Decepticons inside. In fact, I think that's where Galaxy Man's going to go. He has to go to jail. All right, so I got a few loose pieces that came out. I got the head, and I got a piece of rung. See, without even... I don't even have to cut these, uh, these little plastic strips. Here's rung. He's pink and clear. So maybe he's, like, Energon rung? I don't even think rung's going to be in the same in the show. So it's same color as the little pieces that comes with a uh, pinpointer and lionizer interesting how crazy is it that we actually got a rung figure and he looks like he did in the comics all right this is ultra magnus this robot mode is very g1 inspired Vehicle mode is inspired by the R.I.D., the original R.I.D., Car Robots 2000. Great toy line. Okay. All right. Now... I wonder if I can pull up. Do I have the other Magnus here? I do. You know what? No, if I get it, everything's going to fall. 
So, we have Ultra Magnus. Seems pretty battle damage, but it's still in keeping with the colors of Ultra Magnus. However, what's not painted, which was painted on the original release, are these shoulder cannons. These are just solid gray. It's like almost a grayish brown pewter. It's like a it's like a brownish pewter color. It's always weird to me to have Ultra Magnus in this size. Like I just feel he should be taller. But again, we didn't even have to cut the twist ties on this. We have our RID inspired weapons and our G1 inspired weapon. No paint on the original one. Was it white? I think so. So it's a spoiler box for the show. So I'm really, really, really hoping that Ultra Magnus is in the show. I just, I, I'm going to be disappointed if he's not. And it has been a while since I've transformed this. Let's take a look without the has been a while. There's not a lot of good things that came out of the Dreamwave era, but one of the things that still resonates is that underneath the Ultra Magnus armor, there is a white Optimus. They made that cannon. And uh, that was one of the cooler things, and their whole Sunstorm story. Not a whole lot of people appreciate the Dreamwave era. Writing wasn't that great. Or that much. But. Um, there were a few stories that were really good. I love their take on Sunstorm. Go again. That's why I don't transform things on the show. Now I have to find out. Now I'm embarrassed. Once again, no bio, so you're like, Battlefield Rung? Who's Battlefield Rung? I've never heard of Battlefield Rung. Kids don't know who Rung is. There we go. How does that help come out again? There we go. Yeah. Uh, you know what it's missing? It's missing that little Autobot symbol right here. I need that. It's a little weird that this is not white. Maybe some repro labels? I don't know. It's a little weird. So it's a little... Something off about the color. Especially with this... This hit right here. Face is great though. I love the face on this. So because I have the other Ultra Magnus in Magnus mode... Uh, I think I'm going to have this guy by himself, like this. And we'll hide the armor somewhere. It is a good toy. I mean, it's been a while since I transformed it. At this point in my life, when I was younger, I would transform things over and over and over again. We just didn't have the plethora of figures that we have in today's age. That kind of ended with the movie line because once the movie toy started coming out there was so much you couldn't just sit there and transform it over and over again 
I mean, you could, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I had a life. So, Ultra Magnus, Megatron, uh, the visuals of the Netflix show look pretty good. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, if you want to email us, email us at cutthetape at tftalk.net. Uh, so far, we've had one email. But it was a good one. And uh, wash your hands. Stay safe. If you're going to protest, be kind and uh, get yourself tested afterwards. And uh, register to vote. Not telling you who to vote for. Just register to vote. All right. Cut the tape. The tape has been cut. Some was cut for me. We uh, cut the, the Play-Doh. So I'll need to steal a can of my daughter's Play-Doh. Hey, I'm Rick. Bye.